Some things go deeper than love and romance, but nothing is deeper than the bromance. So let us help you be a better bro. This is Don't Mess With The Bromance. Bromance tip of the week. If you're getting texts from your friends that are very sensual. <laughs> you know they love you. <laughs> know you they, 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 they got bro. your back. They got your back. So. And maybe front. Oh. But uh, don't mess with the bromance. It's where we give you the tip and just a tip on how to be a better bro. This week is even though they are your bro, don't tell them how to live their life. You can give them advice, but in the end, it's their life. Now, I say this because... I think there is some slight exceptions. Slight exceptions, yes. Like if they're about to jump off of, or like fight somebody that you know they shouldn't fight, like if they're drunk at a bar. Like if you're well, chopped you and you're fighting cage. anybody. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. Like you can give them advice on that. That's one that I think is give them advice. But if they're just determined to fight, fight them. Let them right, do it. Let them do it. I'm talking about you see. you, Because we all have bros that are a little bit on the smaller side. And yeah. probably couldn't fight very well. But yeah. once you get that liquid courage in you, you think you could fight anybody. So <laughs> if they walk up to some bro that looks jacked, that's been lifting for three years straight and taking steroids, your bro could possibly die. Yeah. Well, just have his back in that case. Hell no. <laughs> I am not backing him up. <laughs> well, then you're not a good bro. Always have your bro's back. We just talked about this. No, if your bro's fighting somebody that's way out of their league, that is their own mistake, and you have to let them learn their lesson. Well, what I'm talking about, like, yes, if your bro is doing, like, hard drugs, heroin, or something like that, Whoa. definitely, like, you know, intervene because you don't want your bro to die. But I'm talking about more smaller stuff, as in, like, their job. They want to quit their job. They don't want to quit their job. Their job sucks. Give them advice. Same with like a girlfriend. They they love their girlfriend. They hate their girlfriend. Give them advice. But in the end, realize that it's their life. They're going to have to do what it is. You're not trying to be a girlfriend and trying to control them. You're just trying to be a bro and help them out along their way. So watch out because it is a fine line. Like I know I'm a smoker and I know you guys are both. Uh, you should probably check- stop smoking, Joe. I know. You're going to die. I know. And uh, I get that a lot. And I, I appreciate that. But, like, again, <laughs> ne- none of you have gone to the extent of, like, crazy girlfriend. And, like, if you see a cigarette, you, you throw water on me. Just or whack it out of your hand. Yeah. Any of those scents. We're getting there, you son of a gun. You know, D actually did that to me once. Did he really? He smokes. He smokes. Right. Why? What's his issue? He was a jerk. It, it, it pissed me off. Because, like, we were in Seattle. And I went to, we got off uh, the, the train because we usually ride the train there and then walk around. And uh, we got off, uh, went to light up a cigarette. And he's like, dude, you're quitting. And slapped it out of my hand and broke it right at the filters of where I could even smoke it. And usually I, I don't mind if I let someone bomb a cigarette or whatever. But cigarettes are expensive. So that pissed me off. So I picked it up and I just threw it at him. And then I got in his face. And he's one of those guys that are really, really big. <laughs> I could kick my ass. And it, it got heated. He felt bad afterwards, but I don't know why he did it. Because you said you were going to quit, and so he's trying to... He cares about your health. I, I, yeah. I didn't say I was going to quit at that time, oh. though. <laughs> he just was like, he's quitting, so I'm quitting kind of thing. Like, we're doing this as a couple. I'm like, no. I, I'm not the one that has had cancer yet. Yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> but The logic... <laughs> Hey, I'm going to keep smoking until I get cancer and then possibly quit. Well, no. Maybe. Just maybe, though. No, but uh, there's other stuff. Like I said, uh, with like a uh, girlfriend, always, if your bro asks for advice, give him advice. But then if he doesn't necessarily take the advice, it's still his life. You know, you can't necessarily be mad at him, but I do know that. Do you, in things like relationships, do you hold it against them if you told them something and let them live their life and it turned out wrong and your way would have been better. I don't hold it against them. Not hold it against them, but hold, like, do I bring it up? Like, yeah. Told you so kind of deal. Absolutely. Like D again. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I absolutely like, dude, you should have listened to me. Now I'm not going to say I, I do that every time I see him or anything like that, but it's just like, 
I was right. Maybe you should take my advice more often. And usually that opens somebody's eyes if you are right in the outcome. And yeah. you and you kind of you, and you kind of like slide it in there. You're like, hey, by the way, remember that thing that I said? I was right. Exactly. If you kind of bring it up, they start to realize that other people saw it before they did. Right. And then they're like, okay, this guy knows what he's talking about. I will listen to his advice next time. So don't mess with the bromance tip of the week. Give your bro advice, but let him live his life. Plain and simple.